It's a problem just about everyone has had. You're out for a picnic or a birthday party. There's a group photo. The photographer inevitably gets left out. But this small team of tech-savvy entrepreneurs has created a new smartphone app that lets you take a group picture and put yourself in it. There is no such solution in the market. So, 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 so we've solved a really common problem in a very interesting way. Now I want a picture with my friends and I want to be in it. So this is what I do. I take a picture of them and leave a gap for myself. Then my other friend comes in and takes the camera from me. And I go in the photograph. Now he takes a picture of me with my friends. And this is where the techie magic happens. And I didn't have to be an expert in photography to take that photo. The clever thing about this app is that it merges two photographs seamlessly. The designers work here out of their former university in Lahore. Pakistan has 30 million internet users. That's almost four times the population of New York City. About 15 million people in the country are accessing the internet via their mobile phones. And now young Pakistanis are exploiting the potential. Internet as a medium is a paradigm shift for all the companies who are working in Pakistan. For example, uh, take our example, where we, we, we worked on a product online, we launched it online, we, were, we marketed it online and then got featured by all these big blogs and were contacted by smartphone companies. Picked up by Google, the team was flown out to Silicon Valley for a mentoring program to develop their product. Now Ideas Lab says it's being courted by major mobile phone companies like Samsung, Huawei and LG. But they're not the lone rangers in Pakistani tech talent. There are companies in Pakistan who are doing mobile apps for tier one fortune 500 companies in the US. They otherwise were very reluctant to come to Pakistan. And, and some are getting help here. It's called Plan 9, a business incubator funded by the government with the goal of building young tech talent into budding businesses. In the technology world, the world is becoming flat. The geography, the political situation, uh, the, the security situation is becoming totally irrelevant in a country like Pakistan. Thirteen teams at Plan 9 are developing apps and products, like DrivePal, which alerts relatives and emergency services about a car crash, iTrack, an optic mouse for paraplegics, and location-based app LockPro, which adapts your phone's privacy settings depending on where you are. It can even remind you to pick up milk when you walk past the supermarket. Who knows, the next big app you download on your smartphone may have been made in Pakistan. Simon Morrison, CNN, Lahore, Pakistan.